So what is going on today, YouTube Sipe here, and today behind me I actually have my one of my really good friends, Camaro, and uh, today we're gonna be actually doing a review on it, and I'm gonna be talking about with him about how he likes it, and I'm gonna talk about my opinion, and I'm gonna see uh, what I kind of think about it, and he's gonna tell me how he likes owning it, things that he likes and dislikes, and then we're gonna go from there. But before we do get into the video, please make sure you do hit that subscribe button, and if you like the video at the end, please hit the like button, and we'll get right into it. drives fairly sim I mean because the Trey Mac transmission it drives fairly similar to the Challenger as I'd say more so the Challenger than the uh, Mustang one thing that I know is the exhaust notes pick up a lot after 3,000 rpm as you can see that's going around these turns right Yeah, so those are my two things that I notice about the vehicle. I mean, just driving it and now him driving it. Um, all right, top five things you like about your car. Oh man, uh, love the short gears. Okay. Sound phenomenal. Okay. Um, it looks great. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It is. The seats are very comfortable. These are these are the Recaro ones, aren't they? Okay, so that would be why probably they're a bit more comfortable. I would say. So Recaro ones, I find usually are a little bit stiffer. And overall, how this car is just built, pretty nice. Okay. And uh, all right, what do you dislike about it? I guess it's the top three dislikes you don't like about the car. Things you think GM could improve on, I guess. wider tires in the back? Yeah, I was yeah. going to say that. Yeah, yeah, wider tires in the rear. Okay. 275 is pretty wide, but... Yeah. And 275 is on the front, right? 275 on the rear, 245 is on the front? Yeah? Yeah, I okay. believe so. Okay. Well, uh, it's not... Yeah, it handles really well for a 245 on the front. It does, I mean, yeah, yeah wow. very well. Um, I can't really say that I hate the many things on the car. No. Um, Visibility. Visibility, yeah, I'd say that. Yeah. Maybe if GM could put a bigger windshield into it. Yeah. Maybe something that's not as tight. Yeah. Maybe so narrow if here I can show you guys. It's pretty. There's my hand. Yeah, it covers almost half of the length. Yeah. Probably a smaller dash, I'd say. Yeah, the big bulk isn't needed. Yeah, that doesn't need. Like if they just went straight yeah. all the way across. Yeah, I agree. Well, one, one thing I'll say about five things I, I was impressed about the car was one, the mirrors are actually pretty usable. They're actually pretty user friendly if you look. Like they're decent size and you see quite a bit out of them. And they've got the blind spot monitors also. Right, right, which is nice. Um, and yeah, the mirrors I was pretty impressed with considering like let's say we're comparing it to a Challenger and a Mustang. I found they didn't have as good visibility out of the mirrors, but I mean, maybe that's because the Camaro's got smaller windows, they yeah, made sure they of that, right? Um, as far as rev matching, it's really nice. It makes a way smoother transition going down. Thing two, in track mode in this car, you feel it actually, the suspension was what impressed me the most about it was, I mean, when you look at other vehicles that have like track mode or race mode or whatever it may be, they don't really, you don't feel that big of a difference in the suspension that it stiffens up even if it does have adaptable suspension. And that I liked about it was that it, it definitely, you could feel that difference. 
I mean, I wouldn't say this is a, no, I, a thing that I don't like, but maybe if they changed it to a ZL1-looking kind of front fascia. That's yeah. the only thing. That I think that would that would kind of act in the car a bit more. Like, at least for the SS. I'm not saying for, like, the V6 or the RS, right? right. I was going to say, but, like, for the SS, I think maybe something maybe more significant to the front fascia. Um, but this is a problem a lot of manufacturers have with their cars and make them all too similar. Like the Mustang, the GT looks way too much like the V6 as well, right? Right. The SRT Challengers look way too much like an RT or a, uh, what do you call it, a V6 too, right? So it's just, yeah, I don't know. For me, yeah, that, that's the thing. Oh yeah. Other than that, I, I do like a lot of the design of the car. I think they improved the design of it a, lo a whole lot yeah, now. Lot yeah. uh, obviously, this is an 18 now, a 19. They just changed the front and the tail lights a bit. I mean, the body's still the same of the yeah. vehicle, but interior-wise, it's the same. St yeah, and um, I mean, I like the look of this one better than the 19. Personally. I'd much rather have this than yeah. the 19. Yeah, the 19 was kind of a disappointment. Um, it looks very European. Yeah, yeah, it looks, I don't know, the Chevy badge in the front like just pops so much. Yeah, the to bow tie. Me. It all, yeah, the bow tie just looks like it's too big or something. I don't know what it is, it's just something about it. It just doesn't do it for me. No, they like an improvement in body, like the shape of the car just looks so much better than 15 and before. It's very sleek looking. Yeah, it definitely looks a little bit more unique to me now i don't know I, I just felt like the camaros before looked too toyish yeah they look like a hot wheels yeah 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 they looked very toyish so yeah i don't know that, that that's one thing they did a good job with too here's a big complaint brakes brakes are great they're a brembo brake but the only thing is is that they're black and you can't even tell that they're a significant like racing brake yeah. that's one thing i don't yeah, the powder coated rims yeah. are the greatest. Yeah, well, the rim's okay, but I mean, it's like. It's just the, the brake dust is brutal. Yeah, yeah, that brake dust, I can imagine, is terrible, right? With the Brambles. It probably is with any car that has Brambles. But yeah, th I wish they were like red or even if they were a gloss black so they popped a bit more. Because yeah. I know the ZL1 Camaros, like the gen before, they used to make them a gloss black and they popped a bit more, which was nice. So here's the engine bay. I mean, it's fair, got a fair amount of space. I'm not gonna say it's tight. It's not really tight. Like you could add quite a few things if you wanted. The only thing is though, it is pretty tight. Like you probably have to get one of those cowl hoods yeah. if you wanted to like get a big blower on here. Cause it, it does sit like fairly close. It's the only thing I noticed actually. So to conclude the video today, that was my review for what I thought on the Camaro. And I want to thank my buddy Brandon over there for letting me take it out for a spin and uh, kind of talking to me about what he liked and didn't like about the car. Let me know what you guys thought about the video and any comments you guys have about the Camaro cars in particular or any GM cars actually. And if you guys want more reviews on GM cars, I will do that for you guys. And make sure you do comment down below and make sure you don't forget to subscribe. And as I always say, I'll be back with more videos. Thanks guys.